Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is a video on last minute suggestions for IC 12 students. Uh, your math paper is tomorrow that is on Sunday and you can watch this video till the end. I'm going to give you some tips and also tell you some important topics. In the chapter of relations, you must be aware of these terms reflexive, symmetric and transitive and when these all combine, then it forms an equivalence relation. And please check if the relation is reflexive, symmetric or transitive, whatever the question is. Sometimes it happens that students don't know that the relation is not transitive. They ignore some ordered pairs and then it happens like so you have to uh, pay attention on this part, transitive part, which is a little bit tricky. Now in functions, uh, you must be aware about one, one, many, one, on, two, and two. I'll just give you a glance of this. So this is the condition for one one function f of x is equal to f of y if x is equal to y then it is a one one function and it is also known as injection if it is uh, if these terms are not equal like x is not equal to y then it is a many one function coming to on to if range is equal to codomain then it is on to which is also known as surjection and if it's not equal then it is into function when 1 1 and on 2 are combined like if you get a function which is 1 1 also and on 2 also then it's a bijective function which is known as bijection now questions on composition of functions like if they ask you that f and g are inverse of each other that means f o g is equal to g o f equals to uh, x now f o g means f of g x and if it is self inverse function that means f of fx is equal to x now for inverse trigonometric functions you have to do all the formulas that are the basic formulas like tan inverse x plus tan inverse y and those 11 class formulas are also important in this part sine a plus b and cos a plus b and so on if you are unable to solve the value of x, you're not uh, able to get the answer of x, then you can do it with the help of your calculator. This time, calculator plays a very important role. You can directly uh, take your answer because they will not be checking your rough sheets. They will only check your answer being uh, multiple choice questions. So what you have to do is you have to do it by hidden trial method. First, you have to put uh, the value of a that is minus one in this equation. If you get pi by 6, then this is the answer. Then you have to put uh, 1 by 2. If it comes, then this is the answer. But no, these two are not the answer. The correct option is C. So when you put a uh, cos inverse 1 plus sine inverse 1 by 2, you will get pi by 6. Again, there is a question uh, which can be done with the help of a calculator. Cor inverse 3 and cosec inverse root 5 four into 4 and you will get the answer. Now determinants and matrices, uh, they may denote determinant with the help of this or maybe this triangle and transpose cofactors in minor symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. Then what is a singular matrix that is when determinant of that matrix is equal to zero. This formula adjoint A multiply A is equal to A into adjoint A equals to determinant of A into I matrix with um, that order. Inverse, A inverse is equal to adjoint of A divided by uh, determinant of A. And please uh, practice Martin's rule also, right? And you know, adjoint is equal to the transpose of cofactor. These are the steps for continuity and I think you all know. Sometimes it happens that you do not get the uh, left hand limit and the right hand limit. That time you can differentiate this function for example it is 1 minus cos 4x divided by 8x square this method is to be applied only when you're not able to get the answer so it is important that left hand limit is equal to right hand limit and whatever you get as uh, the value of k you have to apply those limit rules but if you are not able to do then you can differentiate the uh, the numerator and denominator separately just like in determinate forms of limit here, after differentiating the numerator, you will get um, sine 4x multiply 4 divided by 16x and there is this limit x tends to 0. 
over 4 is 16 and sin 4x divided by 4x is equal to 1. So the answer will be 1 only. This is how you can do if you're not able to get it by the limit functions. And yes, when it's derivable, then it's continuous. When it's continuous, then it may or may not be derivable. And when it's not continuous, that means it is not derivable. For differentiation, uh, substitution questions are the toughest. Sometimes for uh, students who not practice this exercise, they're not able to uh, get the answers or they land up to complicated answers. For example, the substitution question is like uh, d by dx of tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x squared. You will start differentiating it and you will land in a weird answer. The output will be an incorrect answer. Just because you didn't realize that, that this is the formula of 2 tan inverse x. Now you can differentiate it. This will be 2 divided by 1 plus x squared d by dx of cos inverse under root of 1 plus x squared divided by 2. If you start differentiating it like minus 1 divided by under root of 1 minus uh, this whole square and you carry on, then again you will get incorrect answer. In this case, you have to substitute the value of x squared equal to cos theta. So these are the questions uh, that will be asked. And please practice parametric questions also. And uh, those questions like there are these two variables given uh, like 2x cube and no, maybe 2v cube and sine cube u. So you have to differentiate it with respect to this. You know how to do this. You have to separately differentiate them and then you have to calculate this value dv by du. I think you know this. Now in determinate forms. I think it's very simple just like differentiation. The only difference is you have to differentiate the denominator and the numerator respectively and separately. 0 by 0 and infinity by infinity are uh, the questions that you will get and limit rules must be revised. Now for AOD that is application of derivatives please learn all the equations of tangent and normal. You will get a question on finding the interval where this function is increasing or decreasing. This is the question that I think you should try and the answers are already given here. You may check your answers. Increasing at minus 1 comma 0 and 1 comma infinity. You can replace this and with u that is union which includes all of these. Decreasing minus infinity comma minus 1 and union 0 comma 1. आर 400 400 400 नंबर को आप सेव कर लीजिए अपने कांटेक्ट लिस्ट में आपके चाहे कोई भी डाउट हो मैथ्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी आपको सब के आंसर्स मिलेंगे इस नंबर पर इसके लिए आपको पहले सेव करना पड़ेगा इसको कांटेक्ट लिस्ट में उसके बाद आपके जो भी डाउट्स हैं आपको उसकी फोटो क्लिक करनी है फोटो क्लिक करने के बाद उसे क्रॉप करना है और सेंड कर देना है इस व्हाट्सएप नंबर पे तुरंत पाएं वीडियो सॉल्यूशन 5 सेकंड के अंदर 6 टू 12 आईटीजे मेंस एंड एडवांस नीट और सारे स्टेट बोर्ड के लिए तो देर किस बात की अभी अपना डाउट इस नंबर पे भेजिए और इंस्टेंट सॉल्यूशन पाएं लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में है now for maxima and minima, you have to do questions on absolute maxima and minima finding the local points of local maxima and minima then you can also refer to my video of maxima and minima where I have solved these questions or the 8 markers that you will get. They are all diagram based, figure based. Please learn all the mensuration formulas like volume, surface area for cone, cylinder, sphere and they'll ask you questions like a uh, rectangle is circumscribed by a circle or um, it is surmounted by a semicircle. So these are the questions that you will get in 8 marker. You should know how to solve these maxima minima questions. The first step is that you have to figure out the constant. Constant is uh, given in the question. And second is that uh, the things, the variables you, actually the terms you assume are the variables. You make, a, you make an equation with the help of constants and variables. And then the next step is whatever is asked like maximum or minimum, you will write it separately in the second equation. 
and then you'll start substituting you'll get this after you have studied it or you know it very well if you are still confused about maxima and minima then refer to my video i'll attach the link in the description box and i've also provided the pdf of maxima minima questions you can also refer to that if you don't want to waste time watching the video but if you want a crystal clear explanation then that will be very helpful at last i wish you all the best for your math exam try to score full and please avoid your errors or blunders or uh, like please recheck your paper recheck your answer sheet sometimes it happens that you feel you're getting full and later when you come to home you realize that i have done this error and you can only avoid regrets when you do everything correct so try to score full in this thank you for watching my video please like and share this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't bye